It's a great honor to be here on the occasion of this fascinating exhibition which compares uh, Norman Rockwell's paintings to the photographic sources, which are, I think, very haunting and beautiful in their own right. So I think if everyone should get a chance to go see the show. I've always felt a, a strange and profound connection to Norman Rockwell. In fact, someone once described my pictures as Norman Rockwell meets Norman Bates. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that's a compliment, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and there's obvious surface similarities in that we both worked in the same areas, in the same setting, the same landscape, and we both used inhabitants of the various towns to create a kind of fictive universe. And I think we both exhibit a certain amount of control issues about <laughs> trying to organize a frame. Of course, on the surface, my work might seem uh, particularly pessimistic, and uh, perhaps and his work on the surface appears optimistic, uh, but I think if you perhaps look into the surface of both of our works, I think you'd see that there's a slight ray of optimism in my pictures and a slight ray of pessimism in his pictures. Anyway, I think we're somehow aligned by a common interest in what I would call the aesthetics of repression, which means this obsessive need to make a perfect surface and sort of behind that surface there's competing energies and tensions and anxieties and desires.